ordinary girl trying to be fabulous and welcome to my channel welcome to my subscribers welcome to my new subscribers and welcome to those of you who are not subscribed if you are not subscribed and you enjoy my content I hope you will consider doing so and I hope you'll subscribe even if you don't enjoy my content because why not and just because we have doggies So today, I am going to react to my um, Why I Left Avon video. It is one of my better performing videos. And um, I have some interesting things to add to it, I think. And Annie is barking, and I don't know why. Let me go find out. Hello, my dears. It's me. Ordinary girl trying to be fabulous. And Hello, me. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my subscribers. And welcome to my non subscribers Yeah. This video is sped up to 125 because man was I slow. Man was I slow. I was just so slow in my speaking. I'm working on that. I'm trying to improve it. So yeah, it's sped up to 1.25. Um. Some places might be a little slower. And if you are not subscribed and you like my content, I hope you will consider doing so. And I'm also sucking on a cough drop. So if you see me do this, you know, or something similar, it's a cough drop. I'm now making duck, duck lips to myself. And also, um... I enjoy engaging with my comment section, so if you would like to leave me a comment, a like, a share, I would really appreciate it. Leave me a comment, a like, a share, I would really appreciate it. Yeah, I copied that part and slowed it down for a purpose. Because I'm not kidding. This is the video that almost got me to turn off my comment section and take back um, wanting to talk to people. Because um, the comments I got on this video, I expected I would get on my paparazzi video. Uh, you would have thought that I hurt someone's Mima by leaving Avon. And, um, I obviously didn't, but the comments, uh, when I made a video called, uh, Reading Mean Comments, Part 2, at that time, I had never deleted a comment. This video, after I made that video, this video got me to delete comments. I, um, haven't blocked anyone from my channel yet. But give me time. And then a few things about me. I am a dog mom to two amazing little rescue dogs. There was Olivia. She is queen of the house. And she knows it. And that's the way it should be. And then there is Annie. And she is an education. Excuse I me. love her family. <coughs> I would not trade Annie for a thousand well-behaved dogs. Because, you know, if I had a thousand dogs, I would be a hoarder. But um, I love her. I believe she picked me. And then yep. Annie is much improved. And I'm glad that I kept her. And I stuck with her. And I didn't give up on her. Because she is a much better dog. Still reactive. She's still very interesting. But she's Annie. I can't. I couldn't. I couldn't ask for a better dog. A few things about my channel. I do reviews. Um, I do some videos. I am a first channel. Yeah. I'm glad I got rid of this long intro. Because, um, it's long. And I have a trailer pinned to the top of my, uh, channel. That'll show you the other types of videos I make that are not multi-level marketing, anti-multi-level marketing. Um, and I, you know, marketing, I do fashion hauls, art hauls, uh, just basically, I just never have one. So, um, if you like to appreciate it, and so would any of the other, you know, like, I would do the you do. So, uh, with that, um, this is the final video in the MLMs that I have participated in. 
it's not the final anti-MLM video. I have all Yeah, check out my multi-level marketing fails videos. Those are very good. A lot of videos to work on for that. There's a lot more coming. But the final MLM that I participated in was Avon. I sold Avon. Um, I got into Avon because my sister sold Avon, and um, I wanted to help her out. And, you know, Avon wasn't a bad company. Um, they're not predatory like other MLMs. Uh, previously, as far as I know, Avon is still not a bad company. But y'all Avon Huns, call your dad. You're in a cult. I had sold paparazzi, and they're extremely predatory, and um, I do not recommend. So I sold Avon to help out my sister. And, you know, they're not, like I said, they're not predatory. When I joined, um, there was a $20 kit that I bought, and that got you a few things. And now when you join, you can, like, join for $0. But if you join for $0, you don't get any sort of kit. Um, you earn things when you make your first sale. Like, uh, I was looking at it, and I think you earn, you make your first sale, and you earn, like, 135 tubes of lip balm. Well, okay. I mean, I guess you could give them away as gifts. I still haven't figured out what you're supposed to do with 135 tubes of lip balm. Me, personally, I'm a ballistics girl. I don't know. Because, uh, when I sold... People were buying lip balm. So the reason I got out of selling Avon is because I quickly found out that even though they are a better multi-level marketing company, um, it's not. Yeah. I made a very nice video, but I got a lot of interesting comments on it. And I mean, I realized that I make a video, I put it out there in the universe. I invite comments. I'm going to get interesting comments. But these comments were just weird. Um, uh, they're like, um, the one thing, my sister wasn't active, so she wasn't getting the commissions. So this one person was yelling at me in my comment section because, you know, it's perfectly within Avon's rights to not give her her commission if she's not uh, selling. And you know, I just thought of something. Even... They said they said it's perfectly fine for a company to fire another person if they're not making their quota or whatever. Which is fine. I suppose. Um, but the thing is, is like, even if you get fired, they still pay you when you work in the corporate. And then also, uh, they were trying to convince me, they were working so hard to convince me that the real pyramid scheme, the real predator, was corporate America. Or corporate anywhere. And I realized that uh, corporate jobs have their issues, they're not perfect, but at least you get a wage. At least you get a guaranteed wage. You get a wage, and if you're in a commission job, you get your commission. Unlike Avon, where you just spend money, and you might make your money back, and you might not expensive to join. It's not expensive to stay active. I think um, they never really specified, but I think to stay active, you had to sell like $40 every three months, which is doable because, you know, the makeup is not terribly expensive. Like, like I said, you had to sell $40 every three months, which is doable because, you know, the makeup is not terribly expensive. The products are not terribly expensive as compared to things that, you know, they sell out um, on the store shelves. So it's not hard to, to stay active. It's not like in paparazzi where, you know, you have to buy $86 worth of jewelry every month that's just going to sit in your bedroom in hot pink boxes that you bought from Walmart and never sell. Yeah, I'm salty. I'm, I am still salty for paparazzi. Still salty. If you have the chance to sell paparazzi, my recommendation is don't, because it doesn't sell itself. So, um, yeah, but... And it's ugly. What was I thinking? The reason I got out, I mean, because, you know, like I said, 
it's not that hard to sell $40 worth of product every three months. And as a consultant, you could easily buy that product yourself, which, you know, they tell you, they tell you the consultant isn't the customer, but the consultant is the customer, even with Avon. But you could easily, sorry, I'm kicking my tripod, you know, make your, uh, make your active goal yourself. It wasn't hard because it wasn't terribly expensive. So, um, I was just like, you know, I would sell things every once in a while and then I would buy stuff and, and I was staying active. But then I found out that my sister who I signed up under, who was my upline, that she wasn't staying active. So because she wasn't active, she didn't get the benefit of my sales, which is why I signed up. So that was not good. Yeah. And the one person who thought it was so awful for me to leave Avon because, you know, my sister wasn't active and she wasn't getting the benefit of my sales, um, they, you know, thought I was, they thought I was crazy to leave Avon. Oh, there was another person who commented, and I don't believe that I deleted their comment, but uh, they were talking about how um, they couldn't believe I was buying in the anti multi level marketing uh, scheme. And it talked me into leaving Avon. And um, you know what? It wasn't anti multi level marketing YouTube that got me out of Avon. I was already pretty tired of multi level marketing. And I was tired of. People saying, you know, oh, well, if you're not successful, it's because you didn't work hard enough. Because that's the thing they'll tell you. They'll say, oh, you can do this in pockets of time. And then when you're not successful, they tell you you don't work hard enough. And, like, you're not going to be successful because your, your uh, multi-level marketing business model, it's stacked against you. To be successful, you have to get in on the, like, the top of the pyramid. And, you know, most people don't. And Avon is a really old company. So if you think about how, how low, how low, low, low I was on the pyramid, you know, that's why I was only moderately successful. And there was this one person who said that they made like $20,000 in the year of 2020. And which is pretty interesting because who's buying, who is buying makeup to sit around their house and not go anywhere? Because as we know, the year 2020 was the time of the uh, apocalypse. And so like who was buying makeup and clothes to sit around the house and go nowhere? So, um, in a good year, I probably said something nice to them about, oh yeah, sure you did, but I don't believe you. Because do you realize how much Avon you would have to sell to make $20,000? Like I said, my opinion, I don't believe you. I didn't, I didn't like that. I, at the time, I hardly knew anything about multi-level marketing. And I really thought I was helping people out. Um, and so, uh, that... There was a time when I, when I myself believed that if you were involved in multi-level marketing, you owned your own small business, which I now know is not true. You are not a small business owner. You are a cog in a very big wheel. Or a grain of sand in a very big pyramid. And, uh, that kind of soured me on multi-level marketing. So, um, what really got me out of Avon is, you know, I was like sitting there and I was on YouTube, you know, as this is before I had really started doing anything with my channel and I guess my phone or my tablet knew that I had looked up a lot of paparazzi. So, you know, Google is part of YouTube and I guess I have cookies on my phone. So I saw this really cute video about paparazzi and I was like, I was curious because I was very, um soured by my whole experience with paparazzi and you know this this one anti-mlm youtube person paparazzi and what a scam it is and like i seriously commented on her video that 
I wish I had known this like a year and a half ago. I wish I had seen this video a year and a half ago. I think she had released it like a week or two or something. And um, so then I fell down the anti-multi-level marketing rabbit hole. And I appreciate these people so much because they have... Yeah, and I'm going to end this reaction right here because um, for like five or six minutes, I go on and on and on and on and on about how much I dislike paparazzi and what a scam it is, in my opinion. So yep, yeah, I'm going to end the reaction right here and I will um, see y'all in just a minute. And I'm sorry that I keep hitting my tripod. So yeah, um, the rest of that video was just going on and on and on about how I found the anti-multi-level marketing movement and how much I dislike paparazzi, which I still do, and what was I thinking because the jewelry is ugly, and yeah, and stuff like that. So that's, that's it. That's my reaction to my Avon video, and um, I think that we can take away from the video my opinion if you want to leave a multi-level marketing scheme don't listen to anyone else because if i listen to the people in my comment section i would still be in avon um so yeah don't listen if you know in your heart you're supposed to do something don't don't stick around uh because uh i learned a new term and it's the sunk cost fallacy and you know, it's when you've sunk so much money into something that even though you realize that you're wasting money and you're wasting time, you still stick around because you think there's benefit in it somehow. So um, with that, I'm going to say goodbye and I'm going to say thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you in the next video, and, um, you know, I want to say thank you, and I want to learn how to speak. One thing I learned from my Avon video, and watching back my other videos, is I need to speak faster, you know, I need to speak more succinctly, and I need to, I need to remember what I was going to say. And I need to not ramble. And I need to not have little moments where my little brain goes. Yeah, I had the virus that shall not be named. Um, it was almost been a year ago. And I'm still affected by it. It's sad. So, um, with that, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to say thank you again. Because I appreciate you, my viewers. And without you, I would not have a channel. So I really appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Um, I am working on Beautiful and the Damned. I have to admit, I don't really like the book that much. Two really spoiled people who are really spoiled together. So, um, it's hard. And I might start on another book to do in between so that I keep talking about books because I love books. And I'm rambling still. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I appreciate you so much. Bye. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe for more videos. And doggies.